Hello everyone, this is Arkava12, and today we have a new Daddy Fat Snaps reaction. This is his Homelander rap. I'm better. And it's obviously about Homelander from The Boys. Now, I haven't seen The Boys. I know only what uh, Death Battle talked about uh, for Homelander in their Homelander vs. Omni-Man rap. Or, not rap, but Death Battle. But, uh, um, that brings me to a point. I expect this song to be at least on par with the psychotic energy that the Omni-Man rap was. And the reason why I say that is because these two characters are very similar in a variety of different ways. Not necessarily with their, their uh, backstory or their purpose in the story, but just with the fact that they are both Superman uh, stand-ins evil Superman stand-ins uh, from two very different like perspectives, obviously. Homelander being the far more egotistical one, whereas Omni-Man is, I guess, if Vegeta had Superman's backstory, is like is the way my friend put it, um, <laughs> which is one of my, my, my favorite descriptions of that. But um, yeah, no, I, I expect this. I don't know whether or not this is going to be trending, like uh, the Omni Man rap did, but I expect this to be just as impactful. So uh, you know what to do. Link will be in the descrip description below if you want to watch this without my commentary, because I will be pausing and I will be talking about it. Uh, and without further ado, let's get to this, because I've been waiting for this. <laughs> It's a service announcement. Listen to me to the letter. If you want to count someone, tell me another who better. I better. Who better? Who better? Tell me another who better. Who better? Who better? Tell me another who and I'm a better. Okay, that intro was very curious, very interesting with uh, him repeating, he better, I better, I'm better, whatever, you know, going back and forth to that, um, it reminded me of something. It is, of course, 1130 at night, so like, my brain is not working, but uh, it reminded me of something. <laughs> um, I do have to say, that uh, this came in a little bit differently than I was expecting. It's definitely carrying the 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 ego that I know uh, Homelander has. Definitely carrying the ego. Um, it almost feels like it almost feels like a song that you'd hear on like a Madden track. You know, does that make sense? Like. If you're playing like uh, Madden NFL 2024 or something like that, this almost sounds at least, at least the part that I heard so far almost sounds like uh, something you'd hear like that they use in the soundtrack for that. So I'm going to rewind it a little bit because we're about to get into the first verse and I'm going to see whether or not I'm going to maintain that idea. Wanna get it wrong? Who you think they bring when they get it wrong? First you hit a, then you hit a law, man. You get the call, cause I need a dog. Then I see a man selling me the song. Said they see the bras, I didn't see a god. I know I'm a god. I ain't seeing wrong. You're the same, you're the same, but I want it all. I don't give a fuck. I just want it all. I just want it all. Pitching that should be the default. I'm a single soul before you see the assault. Seen that second hand and still won't sleep, but they saw that they seen them sold up at the scenes and they saw cause they seen them falling at the seat of a song. It's a service announcement. Listen to me to the letter. They fall when I bounce up, so how you not know but I'm Wait, they step up, I bounce up, none of them even and ever So if you wanna clown someone, tell me another who better Better, who better, who better Tell me another who better, who better, who better Tell me another who and I'm a dead on Who better, who better Tell me another who better, who better, who better, who better I do still maintain that this sounds like it came from a Madden soundtrack. Um, 
but it's not just because of like the lyrics. The lyrics definitely sounds like something you'd probably hear um like uh from a, a hype rap sort of song that they'd put on Madden. Um maybe not necessarily because of the fact that it's talking about a, a serial killing psychopath that has Superman's powers. Maybe not necessarily because of that, but just the energy of it. <laughs> um but uh one thing I do have to say, uh, now that we're almost a full, like, halfway through, like, a, a over two-thirds, of, or one-third of the way through, is, uh, I find it very interesting about, like, how they managed to, or how DPS managed to, to capture, like, the presence that I assume Homelander has in the show with the beat. Did he create the beat? Is he the one who produced this? It sounds great. Uh, no, uh, Omar came up, produced it. Okay, Omar, the 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 way that the instrumental is going right now, it feels so ominous and heroic at the same time. Like. It feels like a mixture of, yeah, no, I, I could totally save you. I could also probably kill you. You know, I could save you from suffering sort of thing. Like, that, it, 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 the beat alone is giving the presence that this could easily be for Homelander. And then you add in DPS's rapping, and it's just like, it, it sells it. It sells it. The production, the clarity of both the lyrics and the instrumental, it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect and i from what i know about the character this seems to fit interesting with the strings it's like he's descending into madness especially it's it's definitely feels that way with the video too that whole i rhyme scheme was absolutely insane if dps watches this i got a question how long did it come uh, did it take you to like perfect just that section there like you you're so good at being able to like put pen to paper and come up with some of these uh these lyrics i'm just curious like how difficult was it because that seems like it, it, it might actually be a very difficult thing to do and yet you made it sound so easy so i'm just i'm just curious like i don't know if you're gonna watch this reaction but like if you do i'm just curious how hard was that section there to to actually write and flesh out and make it sound perfect like did you agonize over that or did you just put it down and it was like it was gold with only a few tweaks that you needed to do? Like, I genuinely want to know because I'm I'm curious about, like, the way you go about creating this stuff. Because you are a master at your craft, sir. And I just want to understand. I just want a glimpse into the mind. That's all I want. But what if the next phase? What if they see when I'm really like find a new video link and they press play? They gon' still cave if they next say they gon' still cheer cause they spectate and the test you is the temp fate. Bitches ain't making a ripple, so how could they signal the next wave? How you gon' give them the new strain if you stuck on the ground with the loose change? They make a hit and it's cool ray, and if you make a hit then it's Tuesday. Play Kate, the opinion is sheep when a lion is top of the food chain. The only opinion that has any weight is the weight of the words of what you say. We the best.
so like once we got to what I was referring to as the descent in the madness. That's a weird Dobby pick there. That's a Cam Steady song. Did he just come out with that? I'll have to check that out. Um, when I when I was referring to the uh, the the descent to the madness, I I felt like this was the opposite of the Omni Man rap. Like the Omni Man rap started out as. Omni Man just straight up being, yeah, no, I, I, I have taken over the world, sort of thing. Whereas with this one, it started out with him like, like pretty much praising himself, and then with the Omni Man rap at that one point, like probably two thirds of the way in, it like Omni Man just kind of snaps, DPS snaps as Omni Man, and just like blows through the rest of the song. Whereas this one. As the Descent in the Madness violin started playing, and then immediately afterwards, it's like DPS as Homelander snaps. But rather than like snapping in a form of like power and conquest, it snaps into a descent into actual insanity. Like, not just the fact that like he was talking about how Homelander kind of like snaps and, you know, we saw him destroy an entire plane and like hold heroes by the face and sh I know I know what happens to, to Black Noir in the show um so like I imagine that that scene right there was was from there from that particular uh, incident um so it's like it was the opposite where like Omni-Man was more about like building it up into his conquest this was more like I guess descending um from like the hero worship into madness, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, and it's a very interesting way of like comparing these two because they're the same basic type of character with two completely different approaches, uh, both in the stories that they were presented in and in this in their respective raps that DPS has done. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. I love it. But it was very curious and very interesting to listen to. Um, I probably didn't make any sense whatsoever, but I'm hoping I came across coherent enough that, like, you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, but uh, anyway, before I make a bigger fool of myself, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for joining me. This is Alpha 12 and I will see you in the next video.